All right, all right, and welcome back. Citizens one and all, welcome back. Back with more New World. Let's get into it. We are in Everfall, so we can hopefully get some money coming in. I see people are buying stuff again, which is awesome. Here are all these fish. Alright, I don't know what to do with half of these things. It's mad tomfish. I don't know what to do with them. We'll hold them for now. Oh, storage is more than full. Dear Lord, okay. My cheese wound up back in here. Storage is still full. What weighs so much? Oh, all of that. Okay. Yeesh. It was 800 pounds of food. And those can just get dropped on the ground, seriously. I kind of just set this here. As free storage. I don't know what to do with it. See what's going on here with the salt. Sheesh, man. Everybody's going crazy now that gold's back. Yeah, that's nuts. What are the buy orders looking like? Yeah, see, people are being reasonable too at, at 11. People really want the salt. People pay that much too. People will just sell it for that. Because it guarantees them a little bit of money and no waiting. What can we waste our money on today? Check this real quick by tier. Let me see if my buddy Marcus is going to show up tonight. I'm not, I'm not sure if he's on tonight or not. That's in first light. Okay. by price some cool stuff here you almost never see the small drum that's a rare one and worth more than 250 honestly it could sell for a lot more than that <sighs> What's up, Brian? Good to see you, man. Just go hang in the live channel, see if anybody pops in. Hope everything's going well, Brian. Boy, arrows are right way down in price again. I know we're looking for steel, not iron. Arrows. Yeah, they're way down in price again. Oh, man. My ear is killing me today.
We need to make some food really quickly. What did I just... I missed it. 308 gold for what? It just disappeared. They gotta fix this crap, man. I always miss what I get lately, dude. It drives me nuts. Oh, this this kitchen? This kitchen and I need to have some words, man. How do I never have any ginger? Or garlic? Or butter, for that matter. Speaking of which, I wonder how butter sells. Go look. Butter. Okay. Um. Milk? Milk is up in price again. At one point you can buy milk really cheap and now you can't. Jeez, it just mirrors the game really loud today to me. Okay, um... Honey brew. Vegetable boil. Let's go ahead and ditch some of these things. What do we have here? Herb roasted cabbage. Alright, let's start with that. What's up, Crimson? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Not positive what to do tonight, but we'll get something going. I don't know what to do with all these steel arrows. I'm going to pass some back to you, Crimson. I made a bunch recently. I guess I can go shoot things for... the foreseeable future. We need to stop by first light if we can. Thank you, Crimson. Waiting for Discord to finish updating. Oh, shoot, that sucks. Alright, let's get some of this stash stuff stashed. My weight is actually really good here lately because I'm almost never stashing anything here anymore. Although we still have a lot of stuff here. It's nowhere near as much as we used to have. Invalid. This is not a mission item. It's ship's cookware, bro. Those are mission items. This is not a mission item. Whatever. Whatever. I'm not even getting into it today with this thing. A lot of solvent and stuff. Can't trade or move furniture. Oh, that's still down? Okay. Great.
Awesome! My favorite. These guys don't even care about this town at all, dude. They don't do anything to, to upgrade this. I didn't know that, Crimson. That's good to know. I am in standby here. It's the same, like, three guilds I see everywhere on the server. I wish there was a little more variation in player base, but whatever. All right, let's start the day with burning all our A's off to go fishing. We'll head back to Morningdale after this for a little bit of, uh... Uh, what's it called? Faction missions. I want to get that done and get the, the last phase done. Oh, man. My ears are killing me today. Auction house open. For, can I buy furniture? I can't even buy furniture or I can buy it but just not use it. No? Okay. We are back. Okay. Can't buy or trade furniture? Sheesh. I thought I had seen some new stuff for sale, though. That sucks. I was gonna, I was gonna buy something. I guess I'll just have to save my money. Darn it! Dang, these are tier fours out here. That is madness, dude. That is madness. Were you jumping on tonight? Oh yeah, you said you were, Crimson. You just stuck with, with Discord being slow. Ugh. This place is almost never not empty, dude. This is nice. I'm gonna use some of the snail bait just because we have so much of it.
And then since we're here, we're going to stay here too and, and loot all the good chests as well and try to get that stinking stack deck or something. I'm going to sell it if I get it, Crimson. The first one. I need the money. Then I'll get it again. Somehow. I love the swordfish too because it's such good fish oil. What's up, country boy? Oh, you have COVID? Shoot, man. Sorry to hear it. That's no fun, brother. Good to see you, though, man. It's been a little bit, so... I hope outside of COVID you're doing good, man. Doing all right? Okay, good. I almost clicked that too early. Hey, welcome back, country boy. Good to see you, man. Thank you, brother. Citizen. You know, I'm not sure if I ever had COVID or not, either. I'm sure... I've, I've caught a cold slash flu thing, like, a half a dozen times since COVID started, so I'm sure one of them was COVID, honestly. Oh, welcome back, man. Yeah, that's huge. Always a massive help. We still got all those squid lying around. I don't know if those ever sold or not. I don't think they did. I'll just turn them into squid ink. And Marcus should be jumping in here soon. Oh, nice. Another chest. Can you get Azoth when fishing? Another chest. I love when it stacks up like this. Oh, you're good, country boy. Never feel pressured to watch, man. Do your thing. What are you playing lately, brother? Like, what games?
think this is just a giant cod. Nothing really been too sick. Dang, man. How long has it been lasting for you? The COVID, that is. Hey, what's up? Hey, Crimson. How you doing, man? Took forever to download that stupid update. That sucks. Typically, you can get by without running the Discord updates, too, unless it just forces it. Yeah, it, was, it was forced. Dang. Yeah, I only ever update COVID, like, or, or not COVID, jeez, Discord, like, every other <laughs> update or two. Sorry, I'm talking to Country Boy about COVID. It's on the, it's on the mind. About a week? Dang, man, that sucks. Hopefully, it'll be over for you soon. And you'll get, get better. What should we do tonight, Crimson? I don't know. I still have interest in Dynasty. I've not run it yet. Yesterday, I was just running it. Yesterday, man, it was, oh, it was so nice. There was, like, no one on. I bet you there was maybe 40 players on. That's it. On this whole server? Yeah. I can believe that. Pretty much just standing around. There was a few guys, a uh, small group running, um, doing the elite chess up in, in Shattered Mountain, but Everfall, there was like maybe 10 people, if that. Dang. I was working on, uh, started working on my, I got my, my weapon smithing up to 100 and, it was 108, 100 and, yeah, 108. I what, nice. was at like 50 something. Then I got my stone cutting up to 140. That one's such a grind. <laughs> It's not that bad actually if you as long as you use lodestone but if you if you run around the map trying to find lodestone it's going to take you forever so i just went and farmed the bears and we were spent. yeah that's what everybody says to do yeah and then i once i got about what i got about maybe two thousand lodestone i went back and then i just went and far, kept running outside of everfall farming boulders and then going back in and, and mm. turning it into to lodestone and i went up pretty quick Nice. That's huge. I want to get to 150, so because then once I get to 150, I can cut the pristine stones, eh? Right. That's uh, what I want to fuse them together. That what? That after that, I don't care. Yeah. Same. I, yeah. So apparently, guys were duping um, trophies and furniture stuff in the houses. That's why. I wondered why there was so much everywhere all the time. Yeah. That's such a pain but in the ass, dude. You'd be really shocked to hear. They, from since this gold duping and the furniture duping, they ba permanently banned over 1,900 players. People got to quit being stupid, man. You know, at first they gave them like a 24-hour ban, and then they went back, and once they figured out who was causing all of this, this problems and stuff, you know, duping the gold and that, they banned 1,900 Perma. permanently. I mean, that's good. That's what needs to happen. Their, yep, deleted all their stuff off the... the um, Great the post. House, got rid of their gold, everything gone. Damn. That's that's deep, dark, man. It had to be done. Yep. Yeah, they had to show that they're Ooh. not going to mess around, you know? Yep. I got the burlap sack. And uh, some stacked dishes. Oh, nice. And the wicker, the wicker jug, which is also yeah, a nice one. one. I got one of those and a couple other things yesterday. So the the big recipe is the Oracalum. Or you, or you, yeah. Storage chest. Yeah. That's the the piece of resistance. Where do you get it from? Uh, it just oh, it's only elite chest, only elite chest drop. Okay, I guess that's where we're headed tonight. You wanna you wanna team and up? Expeditions. Ooh. Maybe yeah, maybe Dynasty tonight then. Yeah, could be Dynasty. Oh my! Now Steam's updating. Oh my God. Hmm. Yeah, this is. Oh, just the app you mean, or not the game? No, the, the app itself. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a you seven gigabyte can't, update. Can't start the game until till Steam updates, right? Yeah. Yeah, yesterday was a rough day for me, man. Holy cow. All the updating? No. No, I just... I 
I had this. I have a wart on my arm for the longest time, eh? And it and it kept getting bigger and bigger. And so I was messing around with it. And usually the the top part gets really dry, so I just like you know peel it off, and then it it's fine, and then it grows back. So yesterday I, I didn't have the. I usually use uh, these clippers to to take the top of it off. So I didn't have it. So I grabbed these these. Uh, tweezers, medical tweezers, you know, the Kelly, yeah. Kelly for that. Grab the hold of it and just, I thought, I'll just pull it really quickly and that'll take the top off it. So I just yarded it as hard as I could and I ripped it right out of my arm. The whole thing? The whole thing, man. How bad was the bleeding? Oh, it, well, I, I, put it, I put a little bandaid on it and the root was sticking out of the bottom of this wart, eh? So, I mean, I pulled the root out, so it's not going to come back now. That's good. And then, I was sitting there, I had my arm on my desk, and I'm playing, and all of a sudden I was like, what the hell? I looked down, and there's a huge pool of blood on my, on my desktop. I was Dang. Like, what the hell is that? And it was just from my arm. Just kept, it wouldn't stop bleeding, man. Holy cow. That's crazy. I cauterized it. That's good. Yeah, that, that helps. Yeah, Country Boy, I feel you there, man. I, I like New World a lot, but there's not been a lot this year that I have interest in. Uh, Halo Infinite just came out, and I'm probably going to check that out tomorrow. Just to see if I like it. I haven't played a good FPS in a while. I got arrows to give back to you too, Crimson, if you need some. Yeah, I, I could use some. Yeah, I made a bunch the other day. I'll give you like two 500 stacks, because I don't want to carry around 200 pounds of arrows. <laughs> cool. My aim, I go through a lot of arrows. Same, I miss every couple shots. I'm getting better though. Yeah, I'm getting there. Yeah, I'll, I'll be streaming it, Country Boy. I'll be streaming it. I, I think it'll be fun. Ooh, good kill. Yeah, I was running around for a while just doing. Um corruption around Everfall. Uh, what what level were the corruptions? Just the, the 25s or 20, did you go? 25s and 35s. Nice. I haven't tried to settle the 35s yet. I'll bet I could. 35s, the ones, I, like I don't mess around with the the bigger ones only the ones that have that you know the one where you go inside to kill the boss yeah i do that one because i mean there's only what five or six mobs in the whole thing yeah and if you get lucky you can still just ninja pop it yeah i can do it it's pretty easy especially with the bow nice is there a big chest here I'm not sure now then i was down and cut those keys running around doing stuff down there that's still a fun zone for me, too. Yeah, I like it. I like there's lots of good stuff to farm down there, like, you know, like, um, as far as, like, mats-wise. I hit that fishing spot uh, that you always talk about, the one that's in that boat. Yeah, I was just there. I caught, um, what's that, the man Manji? Oh, nice. I've not caught a good legendary fish in a long time. Here's the bad part. So I cut a magic and it was in my inventory. I didn't have any room in the in the inventory in the town. And then Damn. I needed to make um, some hearty, not hearty meals, satisfying meals. So the kitchen wasn't high enough level. So I thought, oh, I'll just go put a camp outside. So I go fire up a camp, cook up some, some satisfying meals. And I thought, I wonder how many hearty meals I can make. And I thought, oh, I can make a few. So I clicked Ooh, on, I know what you I did. clicked on an ingredient. And then I swapped out all the ingredients, right? So I made like five of them, and I said, "Oh, I wonder how many more I can make. Oh, I can make one more. Okay, that's fine." As soon as I clicked make, I realized that that legendary fish was one of the ingredients. Oh, so oh like, man! No, did, did I just? I'm like, no. So I go and look. Sure enough, I used it. I thought that was a really good hearty meal. Yeah, it's the. The fish is used to make that um, focus recipe for yeah. uh, 40 minutes or whatever. For, uh, focus at 40 for 40 minutes. Who? What's up, Marcus? Join join the Discord. Yeah, I'm in here. Yeah, you better be. Now I can tell my story time. I went to the doctor today, too, for just bad ears. 
It was having really bad drainage out of my left ear again. It's always some kind of pus or something like that. Really annoying. But really bad ear pressure, craziness going on again. It, all, it comes and goes. Uh, is that contributing to the dizziness? I've always wondered. They claim no. I say yes. So what do they do? They got to drain your ears? I mean, I've already got tubes in them. Like, I have tubes in my oh, eardrums. Ears? Yeah. Oh, okay. Both of them. Yeah, yeah. See, it's it's weird for an adult to have to have tubes, but here I am. Actually, no. It's it's really not. It's not that super uncommon. Mm. I've known I've known a couple guys that uh, buddy I used to work with had it. And... Well, that makes me feel better, Marcus. Thank you. Yeah, my friend had them. He had, every summer he has to get them taken out. Shoot. All right, where you can't go swimming with tubes in it. Eh? Uh, yeah, I, I typically use earplugs. All right, where can we go to farm the elite chest? Do you want to go back to where we were the other day and bring Marcus? Where, Shattered Mountain? Yeah, where did we go? No, we went to, um... Was it Ebonscale? Farming the Imperial Palace? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Can, can we go back uh, there? Yeah, sure. Hell yeah, alright. I'm gonna make a group here. Are you guys online? Yeah, Marcus, we're going to farm Elite Chest. Okay. All right, sounds good to me. Yep, it's gonna be a long yeah, night. I want, like uh, I want I all those ones we missed last time. I think we can loot them with Marcus here because Marcus can tank. Well, that last one. It, there were like four really up top. To get. Well, you ran past one too. One? You ran past a couple. We'll yeah, have to actually kill the boss. But once you, after you've aggroed, after all the aggro's gone back, you can sneak back up to her because she won't do anything, and you can loot the chest from behind her. Ooh. That's but what I did. That, there's two more up there, though. Yeah, there was four. And you were able to loot all four? four? Really? Yeah. There might be five, then. There was one in the first room. The last one, the last one there, the, the tiger aggroed on me, but I was still able to get it. Like, I was three-quarters of the way through the chest looting it when he aggroed on me. So by the time he Oh, was nice. Me, I was already looted it and jumped over the edge. Good. All right, that's perfect. Yeah, Marcus, the goal tonight is to get that Ori Chalcum... Uh, chest recipe. Okie doke. I need orange alchemy. Yeah. Oh, there's lots. Uh, of there's lots right. Yeah. There's lots. Miros is going to work on. If you want some, man. I've got Miros. Like Nine thousand. Ooh. Nice. Miros said he wanted. He's going to work on armor for me. Some new armor. Oh, nice. Because oh, okay. cool. I guess cool. he can do it now. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I've got I've got tons of tons of orange alchemy. I it was for sale like one cent each, so I bought like ten thousand of them. Ooh, I should just look and see if it's that cheap, you know? Yeah, it's been 0 .01 or 0 .1 a lot lately. I mean, you buy 10,000 ore, that's 1,000 gold, so either way, you're set. I'd buy it now, Marcus, because that's going to change, because they just banned a shit ton of accounts. Yeah, they banned like 1,900 people. I saw that. My gosh, that was crazy. I love it. I'm glad. Let me I mean, see if I'm I can teleport to Edmund's scale. Really... It wasn't just like you did it accidentally a couple times. I'm assuming they really had to be taking advantage of it. Yeah, they were duping trophies, eh? Like, you know, like the major luck trophies and stuff. They were duping those. Ah, jeez. What time is it? 7 o'clock. They just picked me for the Weaver's Fen War. That's okay. Yeah, so we'll... we'll yeah, no. Uh, the war is in an hour. So we can head there and start farming. I'll do the war and I'll have enough... I'll have enough Azoth to come right back. And we'll keep farming. Alright. Yeah, Orichalcum's going for two two cents. But I don't bother. I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll give you some, man. I, I've got so much of it. At least I should have it. Oh, maybe. Let me check. So, anyways, yeah, Marcus. Um, starting back on these eardrops again. Um, Cipro eardrops. 
Like really, really powerful like ear antibiotic. Put it right in the ear. So hopefully that uh, helps me. Um, I, hope, I hope so. At least with the ear infection. Guess what? You're all out? I bought that ore at at one cent each, right? Mm -hmm. And I posted it at four cents just to store it. Figuring, you know, when I need it, I can get it. And, you know, because there was like, a, there was about 6,000 or 7,000 from one cent all the way up to, to three cents. I sold all 10,000 of it. Oopsie. Four <laughs> cents each. That's a good return. That's a triple. You spent, you yeah. spent 1K and you got 3K profit. 3K back. Yeah. But I still have like, uh, let's see, on me, I still have like 500. So, and I've got 35 ignits. So. And it's expensive. The Ori Chalcum, is it six or eight ore? Uh, one, one ignit sells for like 12, I think right now. No, like how many ore to make the ingot? Oh, is it six uh, or eight? It's... Let's see, you got iron to make steel, steel to make star metal. Star metal, I think is, is it four? No, I think it's eight or nine, something like that. To make one. Yeah. Dang, so that would have gone quick either way. Holy cow. Yeah. But anyways, I've got 35 ignits of ore calcum and I've got uh, 500 ore. Got Dang. Six star metal ignits. Yeah, that's what uh, I was doing yesterday. Crimson, do you need uh, plus two, plus two weaponsmith crafting item? It's for uh, gloves. Uh, yeah, I can use that. Yeah. Uh, what about um, mining luck or oh, yeah, mine. mining luck? I'm okay. I got full set. All right, I'm, I'm gonna hold on to these because I don't really yeah, put them on to go mining, yeah. but they're plus. Oh. Uh, it's boots and pants. Boots and pants. And I've boots. got I've got the whole set and I keep it in my inventory so that if, while I'm running around, like I even got a necklace that's like 8.9 percent luck to mining. And when I'm running around, if I see like aura calcum, I'll just quickly switch. And then mine, and then switch back. Apparently, I need to go to Reekwater. I've never been there. Uh, where'd you go to, Crimson? You were right here. We'll do that tomorrow. I'll spend the day in Reekwater tomorrow. Marcus, you want to hear what I bought myself for Christmas? Yes, I do. Oh, uh, let me tell you what I bought first. Oh, okay. I bought that uh, compressor battery jumper. Oh, nice. Yes. I bought full set, like an Olympic size weight bar and then Olympic bumper plate Thank weights. You. You're welcome. Oh, did you? Bought the full set, full 300 pound set. It was not cheap. My Christmas gift to myself. The wife approved. Um, it was 800 bucks <laughs> for everything. You're gonna, that's actually, that's not bad. No, it's pretty good. I mean, the it was 300 pounds. Like the bar, that includes the bar. The bar weighs 40 pounds, and then 300 pounds worth of weights. So is that your present instead of your uh, stream thing, or your Steam? Uh, thing? I'm wrapping that into I'm an adult and I do what I want. <laughs> the the Steam decks are delayed until like February slash March of next year. Do Two, they said two months. Yeah. Yeah. So I won't They're be able to even get one until February, March. Honestly, I think they were rushing, trying to rush it out before Christmas for the first quarter. Yeah, I bet they make tons of money. That's why. They got trashed by COVID shortcomings, though. Like, couldn't get the product they need. Couldn't get whatever things, silicon things, whatever you need to build the little circuit boards, whatever they're called. So they have to wait until they get all that. So, instead of being a super nerd, I bought my ways. Yeehaw. Yep. Hey, do you got any uh, potions? Health potions? Uh, the infused... Infused the health? Infused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the health ones? Yeah. And the regen, if you happen to have any of those. Uh, not on me, but I can go okay, back. I could, I could zone and get them. Oh, okay. Thirsty. Thank, I, thank you. I can't blame you. We're going to die in the Imperial Palace. I'd be like, gimme. I've got plenty still, Marcus. I haven't been fighting since you gave me the last bat batch of potions. Shattered Mountain, man. You burn through them if you're up there by yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm gonna zone to Morningdale. I'll grab you some of the regens. All right. Yeah, I saw you up there the other day. I sent you a message, but you were you were, you were on, you're on your way off because the next time I checked, you were offline. Uh oh, I gotta pay property tax. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, so okay, here's a question for you guys. You said don't pay the property tax on the map. No, go to your house and do it. Yeah, it's a glitch. But it's I, bugged. I can't go to the house though because I can't. It won't let me zone there. Uh oh. Teleport near there. Because you're going to pay a lot more money if you do it that way. It's like normally two to three hundred gold more, so it, it's on you if you yeah. want to pay it via the map. If you'd rather spend the gold than waste the Azoth, I mean... See if, see if I got any bottles of Azoth. Uh, I, I should be able to get fairly... I mean... Just, hey, wait, 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 wait. Look in the market and see how much Azoth is. It might be really cheap right now. Oh, uh, maybe you know a good idea. I have seen it as low as fifty recently. Actually, I think I, I think I might even have some up for sale. I could take down. Ooh, smart man. Yeah, it's going for seventy-one right now. There's a guy that's got seventy-one on there, or uh, ten of them on there for seventy-one each. I buy all damn ten of them. Oh. Are? I'll, I'll go get it. I'll go get it. I'll go get it. I gotta go AFK, guys. Wife let her, left her water bottle in the car, and she needs to be taken care of real quick. I'll be right back. She's pregnant. Give me two seconds. You don't. You don't have to explain to us, Ginger. No, I'm telling the whole world, Marcus. Teleport. Teleport. Be right back, guys. I did just buy those 10 Azoths. Oh, nice. Oh, dude, all your stuff that you have, does it have uh, luck on it? The stuff I'm wearing? No. Uh -uh. Uh. No, uh, the only thing I I switch a ring out that's got luck on it for looting chests, but oh, okay, you, um, you got to work on that because uh, it, it apparently it really really helps. Like uh, certain drops, they won't drop unless you have a set set amount of luck, eh? But you're like, sacrificing uh, your stats, though, right? No, no, not at all. I've got I've got gloves on that are twenty four decks. Um, and what else is it? Uh, here, I'll show you, I'll show you a pair of boots that I got. One sec. Look at those bad boys. All right, I have returned. The bottle was oh. in the car. Oh wow, those are nice. Aren't those nice? What, so what's they're nice? Logging they're logging boots, but they still have luck on them, so I can. And I haven't put a gem in there yet, but so I mean, I can still wear them for in battle. Um, they're they're good when I'm logging, and then they're also got luck for when I'm opening the chest. Nice. Also, even if you kept that in your inventory, like keep a luck set, right? So that when we get down to the final boss, you just like switch out, right? Or when you go to open the elite chest at the end of a quest, switch all your luck gear on, and then at least you have it on, and you it gives you a higher percentage, right? But there, like yesterday, I watched a detailed video on the luck system in it, and the guy is basically saying that it sh he showed how certain items um, have a set luck, and if you don't have that luck, if you don't have that minimum score, you, you, you'll you never get the item. What's up, Alvar? Yeah, I, I remember hearing something about that before, too. Uh, Crimson, it's yeah. not surprising. It's not surprising it's like that. 
So I need a little more luck. Count, though, you're leveling, eh, for, uh, for, tra uh, for your trades. Yeah. So right away, if your mining's at 2,000 or 200, you have a 2,000 luck already. And aura calcum, the, 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 what's it called, the tulubium, is 1,800. So you're already in the luck. How, do, how does the percentage play? Like, say you have 5% luck on yeah. top of having, like, 1,800 mining luck. Put it, at, put it like this. So, so say the luck, the, the luck table is 100,000, right? Yeah. Okay, so 200 mining level gives you 2,000. So that's basically 2%, right? Right. Okay, so 1% pretty much is equal to 1,000. Oh, okay. So the maximum you can get, apparently, is 40%. Sheesh. Because the major trophies are 15%. So if you have three of those in your house, right? Right. Can you hear three of the same level, or you have to do one of each level? No, no, they can all be the same. They can, they can all be the same level. They can all Sheesh. be different levels, but you can only put one in each house. Okay. Like one of each type, you mean? Yeah. Okay. So you can do three totally so, uh, in each house. So you can have three major luck trophies, but they have to be in separate houses. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Or you can have a basic one and one. You can have a major and another one, or whatever. However, whatever you have. Whatever you can get it's done. Yeah. Same system is same as chest, right? Right. You can have three chests in your house. You have another house. You can have another three chests. Whether they're tier three, tier four, tier five, it's up to right. you. Right. But for this, you only have one in each house, but up to three total when you have three houses. Yeah. Okay. Well, I need to make a bunch of luck trophies for everybody then. I can make the basic ones currently. Yeah, I got one in my house. Yeah, I need to make one for Marcus, and then I need to make another for me since I have two houses. Oh, that's cool. Follow our Skyrim alongside Fall 76. I have a really bad ear infection right now. That's been lovely. My left ear is killing me. The pressure is just outrageous. Waiting for it to clear up. I get eardrops tomorrow. The doctors are all still convinced that my ears aren't pro part of my dizzy problem. Uh, oh, medicine. Why do you forsake me? Uh, the doctors, you mean? Yeah. And then some. So many stories I hear people going to see, like, multiple doctors, and then finally one doctor just, like knows exactly what's wrong you know yep yep that's me we're getting there one day you gone and seen a specialist yet about your sinuses nope not yet it's hard to fit all that in yeah need to find like an actual sinus doctor I guarantee you that's what he's gonna find and once you have the surgery i mean the surgery is a little bit to go through because you know, he's got to, like, do some crap to your nose and then pack to your nose. And that's kind of uncomfortable for about two weeks. But afterwards, man, oh, my, what a relief. Yeah. It just feels like someone just lifted a weight off your face, you know? Like, all the you could, like you don't notice you, you don't notice that how much pressure you had on your face until after it's done. And then you're just like, wow, like, you know, what a difference. Yeah. What's crazy is, like, and since I went to the doctor today to see them about my ear, we got back on the topic of the dizziness, because these are the same doctors I see for the dizziness as well. And, um, so I was talking to the nurse practitioner today, and she said she had spoken with one of the fellows there. And they were talking, they were coming back around to SSCD. And it's, what SSCD is, is semicircular canal dehiscence, which is just like a hole in the actual bone structure of your ear, which can lead to like symptoms of dizziness, stuff like that. Uh, they want to call both my ears, so bilateral, they call it questionable. Like there's potential for me to have bilateral dehiscence, so holes in the bones of like the ossicles, the inner ear bones. And so I was like... You know what? Let me talk to the surgeon because I was talking to the nurse practitioner. So I talked to the surgeon as well. And he was kind of like, you know, I don't think this is it because some of the like if I if I had it bad, there's very telltale signs of SSCD uh, stuff yeah. like you can hear your eyeballs moving when you move them side to side and really creepy oh, shit like uh, that. Yeah, really, really crazy shit like that. Bad. 
Yeah, like you can hear, like you can all of a sudden, because there's holes in your ears, all of a sudden you can hear like the movement going on inside, inside your head. So what you're hearing is like whatever muscles or whatever control the eyeball, you're hearing those move because of the hole in your oh. ear. Yeah, it's, uh, that would be I'm sure it's creepy as fuck. You think you're probably going insane. But, uh, so he said, you know, he really didn't think that was the problem. I, I think it's the ossicles. I'm not sure, but I don't know the right word, Marcus. Oracles? I don't know. I don't know. You just said holes in the ossicles. It don't make me Google a chart. Anyway, so he said, you know, I really like don't think... Sorry, go ahead. No, you go ahead, Marcus. It's your show. No, 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 no. no. It's your no, show, it's Marcus. Not. No, no, no. Sorry, <laughs> no, so he said he really didn't think it was it. Wait, Marcus, did you have did you have something to say? No, no there was that's I'm gonna put that number two for our favorite words. <laughs> that's good. You so know, I I watch a show called Good Doc. You ever see that? Yeah, that one's entertaining. Okay, you ever see when they're sitting in that room and they're just like looking through medical journals trying to find out what's wrong with people? I wish they'd That's do that for exactly me. exactly what these doctors are doing, man. They're just like guessing. Yep. They're, you know, they're, they're like, oh, here, here's a here's a dizziness symptom. Maybe this is it. You know? Right. Have, right. You, you know, the old other thing, too, is it's always strictly by the book, too. Oh, you gosh. Know? So much. And that don't that don't always help. It's not, you know, that's. Maybe that's good, you know, 60% of the time, but... Right, right. All right, so... Yeah, so I'll finish the story. So we, we talked a lot, and we kind of came to the t determination of, yeah, I don't think it's this. And if it were that, and if it were bad enough, the only way to fix it is a craniotomy. They have to cut into my skull to fix the ear bones, and I'm just like, it ain't that fucking bad. That ain't even on my radar. I'll, I'd rather be dizzy than do that. I said, until I'm fucking hearing my eyeballs, bro, that's not even a conversation I want to have, you know. Yeah. And but then I get home and I check the notes because I'm 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 that guy, bro. I check the notes he leaves, and within the notes himself, he did a pretty good job. But then he had left this one note that said, "Patient denies pressure increases dizziness, like ear pressure." And I'm like, bro, I've said this for ages that the pressure increases my dizziness. So, like, if I were to go to Valsalva, you know, like, plug your nose and, and force air to your ears. Yeah. That makes me dizzier. And that's one of the main reasons I got the tubes put back in my ears. And that's also one of the early fixes for SSCD. So, I'm sitting here like, what the fuck are these guys smoking? Like, this should be in my notes because I've told my other doctor... 10 times over that that was a problem and then I get the tubes I get the tubes put in and it's no longer a problem although when I have the bad like drainage like I do now my ears are clogged and pressury like that that comes back so the increased pressure in my ears makes me a little dizzier uh -huh. so it's it's nuts it's stupid so I, I don't know what so I I took a screenshot of it circled that part and I'm like we really didn't discuss this and this is a problem so please Let's let's see if this is something that needs to be discussed further. Like, come on. So they're just putting notes in my shit that's wrong. I, I hate that crap, man. I hate it so much. They're just not following through how they should. When I um, I was bouncing in a bar and I, we had to throw this guy out one night and I, I, I had him in like a half Nelson, eh? And he he kind of jumped backwards and I got thrown backwards with him on top of the pool table. So I landed on the pool table on my back. Ouch. And I just, like, I rolled him over onto the floor. We basically threw the guy out. My my partner come over and helped me. Got him out of the bar, and that was that. The next day, right in my clavicle on my left side, like down in the clavicle where that muscle is, Yeah. it was so sore, man. Like, it felt like... It almost felt like the muscle had like ripped away from the bone. So I went to the doctor. The doctor poked around in there and he says, oh, he says, I, I, he said, I don't think it's tore away from the bone, but he said it could be, you could have like, like pulled it and it, it's kind of the muscles knotted up. So he gave me some stuff called Tordol, which is uh, like the, it's like a the, muscle relaxer. Inflammatory they have in the market. Yeah. Um, and I took it for about maybe, I don't know, three weeks. Didn't improve, eh? Felt a little bit better. So, after about... That was for three weeks. And then about a week after that, 
I was over at my buddy's house, and all of a sudden, on the left left side of my my stomach, it felt like someone was like jabbing me in the gut with a knife, like almost like indigestion, but like more painful. Damn. And no matter what I did, if I laid down, I laid on my side, I couldn't get rid of it. It just kept getting worse and worse. So my buddy says, well, let's go to the hospital, see what they have to say. So I go to the hospital, and all of a sudden, they said, oh, we've called in a specialist, right? And the specialist comes in, he says, I'd like to, them to do an ultrasound. Is that okay? And I said, yeah, that's fine. So they did an ultrasound on my neck, and the girl says, oh, my God, I've never seen that before. And I'm like, oh, well, wait. I said, what? what Thanks, is oh, lady. She goes, I shouldn't have said anything. And I go, what is it? And she goes, oh, like a whole bunch of black dark masses in your in your neck like in the clavicle area and i'm like oh i'm like oh okay so that was friday monday morning i'm at the oncologist and he's telling me i've got stage four lymphatic cancer in my in my lymph nodes in my neck damn and it had gone into my liver that's what the pain was in my stomach double my damn doctor, my doctor, my family doctor, calls me at home and he's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. He said, I want to apologize. I'm so sorry. He said, I, I had no idea that it could have even possibly been cancer because he said, all the pamphlets say that it's a painless swollen lump and mine hurt. Mine was like really painful. And so he actually said that he was going to contact the American Cancer Society and tell them that, hey, like this, <laughs> you know, this literature is wrong. It can be painful for some people. Yeah. So that's what happens when people go by the book, right? Like, I mean, atypical you know, is what they call it. Yeah, atypical presentation. Didn't even rule out, uh, rule yeah, out that's crazy, man. At least you hurt your damn arm. So, yeah, you know, I was lucky because people only had a year to live. So if I hadn't like been in that that situation in the bar, I. I probably been, yeah well, i mean i would have noticed when it was in my liver but i mean i was already at the final stage when that happened damn yeah at least you got seen and maybe the hurt in the arm somehow played a part in you noticing sooner i would think uh well i had fast cancer so it was like they, they i basically went from stage one to stage four in just over one month damn yeah so i mean i I wouldn't have lived much longer after that. I mean, if I hadn't gone to the doctor. Sheesh. Well, at least you're good now, man. Yep. That's all that matters. Yeah, like 35 years now remission. That's huge. Yep. The lymph node type cancers are pretty intense too. It's it's a pain to to deal yeah, with that because they remove so much lymph Lopez node. The same thing. What's up, Rob? Mar you said Mario Lopez, like the dancer guy? Yeah, he had he had stage one, and they caught it right away. Damn. But he, yeah, he's still retired from hockey. So. <laughs> Guess it pays to <laughs> be rich you, sometimes, huh? Are you thinking of, was it Mario Lopez from hockey or Lo Mario Lemieux? Or Mario Lemieux, yeah, sorry, Mario Lemieux. Mario Lopez was the actor. And saved by the bell. <laughs> saved by the bell. I said I the dancer. Didn't, I, didn't, I didn't remember him uh, playing hockey. That's all. You know, it's really, really weird. Like it's, it's like a, I don't know. It's everybody says you have a twin in the world somewhere. Uh, have you ever heard of a guy named Kevin Sharp, who's the the singer? No. The country singer. I have not. Does he look well, like you? That's my exact name, and it's exactly like the only thing difference is the way that we spell our last name. I have an E, and he doesn't. And he actually had cancer as well, the same thing I had, but he died. Damn. And he's like, yeah, he had to shave his head and everything, but it was like everybody's thinking, like, dude, is it? like they knew I had cancer. They know my name, and they're like, I didn't know you're a country singer. What the hell, man? That's funny. Yeah. What's crazy is they claim. Like from a biological standpoint, there's there there are exactly seven people that look very similar to you in the world. Out of seven billion, there's seven that look very similar to you. Like doppelganger type status is what they claim. Genetics, I guess. The really sad part about lymphatic cancer is they don't know what causes it. And so, therefore, workman's compensation won't recognize it being as a workplace thing. 
right? Right. You, you can get asbestos poisoning and get like cancer from asbestos, <coughs> and you 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 fall under the workman's compensation board. But not with lymphatic cancer. The link is divers, fishermen, and loggers are the majority of the people that get it. But they can't find anything that links all three of those professions together. Smoking? No. No, they've they tested everything. They, they can't find it. And that's why it's not recognized by the compensation board. Because if Bang. they can find the common link, then they could say, oh, okay, well, it's caused by this. And then right. it would be recognized by them, right? Right, right. That's the weird. Place problem. But yeah, it's, it's strange, man. They actually believe it to be some kind of genetic thing. To some degree, but then, I mean, there's so much in our environment these days, especially even in the foods we consume. And, oh, Rob, how you doing, man? Like, there's so much in food that we consume. We're like the fucking tutors on crack. Like, sure, the tutors, yeah. the tutors put mercury on their food, but we have so many chemicals and shit in our food. Like, it, it's amazing we live as long as we do. Yeah. At least the tutors knew what they were. Was it mercury or lead that they put on their food? Hey, take care, country boy. I really hope you feel better soon. I th it, may, it may have been both. They're so fucking crazy. Probably. Ow, holy shit. Captain James Stormcut. That's your new name, Marcus. You're Captain James Stormcut. <laughs> Where did this crazy guy go? I'm going to loot him. What the hell? That's a weird... This guy's got a name is Saber Two Films. Does he have loot up here? Oh, he's a renegade. Huh. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. But I find, uh, on, to be honest, God, I find most of the times I find out what's wrong with me from other people that have had the similar same thing. Yeah. And I find that more reliable than what the doctor's telling me, honestly, God. Yeah, so in other words, I'll figure out an answer one day, but no time soon. Because th these guys, they, they just can't figure it out. And I'm really not surprised. This is how it always goes. With anything. It, like, it could be something yeah. else entirely. And it's just it's just how it goes. Or you're going to run into a doctor one day that's had the exact same thing to another patient. And then he's going to be, I know exactly yeah. what you got. Yeah, it's more, I, I, I think it's more that these doctors, they just don't see this as much as they appear to like there's no true like yeah. vestibular migraine specialist at this hospital and if that's really what i have then i need to see a true specialist somebody that's dealt with yeah. multiple multiple cases i don't think it's your ears though because my nephew has tubes he's had infections and but he's never had like the the dizziness or the you know the pressure in the in the front of the face and all that stuff. Yeah, and see that pressure in the dizziness that caught that pressure with the dizziness. That's because of the potential dehiscence, is what they yeah. claim. There's only two things that cause that type of, like where you you can have pressure in your ears and it makes you dizzier. There's only a couple of things that make you dizzy like that. One of them is like there's a type of herpes zoster, like the cold sore one, that can get into your inner ear. Just, just by design, your body can be weak against it. And that can make you dizzier. We know Which, that your, your uh, whatchamacallit, your, your frontal sinuses being blocked and infected can cause that. Because that's what yeah. I had. Like, like, I, think, I think what you said that made the most sense to me was when I lean forward, my nose gets runny. Which just tells yeah. me there's something going on. Yeah. I don't know what, but I feel like there's definitely I mean, something easy, going easy on. Check. All they do is they go up, they go up inside your nose with a little a camera and check your your sinus cavities to make sure that they're they're open and they're draining, right? Yeah. Well, what's up, Blader? Mine were sealed shut, completely Sheesh. sealed shut. And then he said, like the whole lower part of my, like when he showed me the MRI, the whole lower part of my my sinuses was like full of infection. Damn. All right, these invites are in about 25 minutes now, so I guess we just team up after right. this war, and yeah. we'll we'll go farming. Bladar, if you're jumping on, we're going to farm the Imperial Palace again today. We're after the um, Orichalcum 
chest recipe because that's going to allow us to make the tier four chest for everybody's houses. Or the chest. Yeah, and then uh, then I'll grind the shit out of furnishing and get it there. I need to uh, move. There was one on the market the other day selling for hundred k. The recipe. No one one of the chests. That doesn't even make sense. It's just a tier four. It's the same as the other chest. No, tier five. That's the that's the golden tier five chest. Five hundred weight. Like all the, it's technically tier four. Like all the marble oh. chests, like the marble, the the marble slab chest, those all hold five hundred too. Oh, is that all? Yeah, the cursed chest and the marble slab, the ones you can get as drops, also hold five hundred. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it was so expensive. But yeah, it was, that's what it was. Yeah, because it holds the same as those others. Uh. Yeah, we were just talking a little bit about. Like the doctor's visit today. So yeah, so I just truly think they're not entirely on point. Especially with me having to correct this guy and be like, Hey, this is a sensation that I get. This isn't something we talked about. So I don't know why the fuck you're saying I denied it when I obviously didn't, boy. But I mean, overall, he's a good guy. So hopefully, hopefully he doesn't get insulted that I'm like... Pardon me, sir. We we didn't talk about this. I don't like your <laughs> falsified medical notes. Exactly. Um, then you're gonna, you're yeah. gonna go and you're gonna find out he listens to your stream. Oh, he'd be like, Are you <laughs> tell me how this would go, Marcus. I uh, I understand you have a problem with my last report, there, uh, Mr. Ginger. Well, I I know I did. I I messaged you about it, sir. You know, if I recall, you told me you were having no pain whatsoever. We were discussing the pressure, doctor. Uh, let me just put a clamp on these tubes, see how you feel. <laughs> that was that's, pretty good. That should, that's scary, though, because if, if he's not listening to you... Yeah, I don't like it. Like, that's not good. You know what I mean? If, like, you know... Oh, well, yeah, what's up, Finish? Yeah. really wasn't. No, yeah, he missed entirely. Yeah, we finally hit level 60, Phineas. Finally. But no, see, that's what I don't like, is that he made up something. Ginger, how long ago did all this start? Three years. The, diz the dizziness? Three ask, long let years. Let me ask you another question. How long ago did you move into your house? How long ago did I... What? What? How long ago did you move into your house? Oh, uh, like a year and a half. I've, I've thought about that. I thought about mold and radon as well. Uh, biggest defense against those is the wife and kids have never had anything like what I have. So why would I be getting annihilated by that? And not, not me. May not be as or not them. To it. Yeah. You are, but I mean, I mean, and I'm not being a jerk, but you are a ginger. I have, I have some weird sensitivities. I don't disagree no, at all. Everybody does. Not just yeah. because you're a ginger, but everybody does. You know, so there could be something that you're susceptible to that they're not. Yeah, we've could talked you? through that immensely. I mean, I'm sure you look into like different deficiencies that you could have right yep there's there's quite a few out there like there's even vitamin deficiencies that can cause dizziness like what i have and trust me i've, I've tried <laughs> i've tried everything i was i used to be on a lot more uh the one i'm in now in the 80s oh you're okay yeah asbestos, but it's in the 80s you're fine yeah no and then the last place i lived in we were there almost a year before it even became a well i guess we were there a year before we moved back here and it was a problem there so I don't think it's relative, although I wish it was that easy to fix, because that would be very obvious. I used to do uh, removal of asbestos in the old houses. It's a pretty big deal, man. There was one house I looked at, and it said needs new, fully new AC system, and they didn't mark it on the, uh, the ad, and I, we, we actually like this house a lot, but they didn't mark it on the house listing. It was a prior meth house. And I'm like, yeah, what? never, never mind. So when yeah, when it's a meth house, they have to gut the whole HVAC system out entirely. Yeah. And even then, I'm like, did you gut all the drywall too, bro? Did you rip it down to the studs? Because I'm not buying it otherwise. Yeah, it's the, crazy. The big things is the baseboards on the outside of the house and the linoleum. And linoleum is really easy to tell. All you got to do is take a piece of linoleum and break the corner off. And if it has looks like horse hair through it. You know, like different, you know, like, you know, coarse horse hair is, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you break off the corner and it looks like horse hair through it, it's all asbestos. Shoot. Yeah, 
we when we do removal in like in houses people buy them and then they want it removed we have to like basically cover the whole house in a plastic tent and then we Damn. have three entrances that we got to go through to get into the because it has to inside like the first one you go in you take off your street clothes the then the next one you go through you put on your work clothes and then the last one is like a decamp decontamination zone sounds like a really freaky strip club to me yeah it's pretty cool but i mean man it's hot in the summertime though holy crap I believe it. Ooh, I just got a dynasty tuning orb. That's cool. Oh, cool. So I got that far in that quest line. Yeah. So we will have to do dynasty this week as well. I've not even been to Requater yet. Marcus, have you been there? Yeah, I have, and I'm not going back until I got a group. Yeah, uh, I want to do Requater tomorrow, not today. I want to do a Requater group tomorrow. That'd be fun. I heard they're getting rid of Genesis. The the dungeon? Yeah. Yeah, Adam, we were. Yeah, I heard they're getting rid of it. It's just too buggy or clunky or what? Or they I didn't say. Why. I don't know, but I just like, there were some guys talking about it yesterday in the faction chat. I wonder. I, I guess we'll see. I didn't even get a chance to do Genesis yet. So yeah. Maybe they're changing some aspect of it. Well, I think the new ones are co coming, and they're going to get rid of that one, and there's going to be a new one instead. I got a Lazarus um, orb yesterday. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot I don't know about. <laughs> like, big, big one. All I know is Amrine, Starstone, Depths, and Dynasty. I don't know what's after those. So there's Amrine, Starstone, Depths, Dynasty, then Genesis, and then Lazarus. And Lazarus is the very final one. Okay. And there's, there's tuning keys for more than that in the game currently, though. Yeah, well, there's other little things like there's a there's a, a boss that's in a, like a little arena in um, I think he's in he's in uh, Ingrove that I've got to kill, but it's like a five man thing, eh? That sounds fun. Yeah, you can, we can go do him if you want. He's like I'm sure three of three of us or four of us could take him on. Yeah, Bladar will be on soon too. Like after this war, we'll do some cool things. Like my whole goal tonight is maybe get right. that recipe. I'll, That'd be uh, amazing. I got I've got everything I need except a few shards from the like corrupted zone. Okay. But I can go and grab the. I've got all the other ingredients. I just got to go do a couple of those, and I, I don't need three of them. And uh, what kind of shards do you need? I probably have some. You get from doing the corrupted zones. I don't. Just the corrupted shard. Can you trade those? Yeah. Uh, I don't think you can. And the other stuff I get from the like I need the chisel, eh? Star stone chisel, but I. I got one right now. I just killed this guy and he still went through his jump move as he was disappearing. That was really cool. I love that. Yeah. Let me go check. I I, I got some last night and made them, so I, I might have enough. I'll have to look and even see if you can trade the shards. They got rid of Dynasty or Genesis due to Marcus. Yeah, I can see that. Marcus just is, is, is the cause. Sorry, Marcus. You're the reason they took out Genesis. Don't know why. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, I just looked. Um, let me go check and see how many I need. I think I need three. And while you're doing that war, I can go and do those. Nice. Marcus, what are you it's up to? The, the big ones, eh? You know, where you get that chest and it, it opens and you get Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Okay. Marcus, what are you doing? Uh, right now, I'm cutting down some trees. For me and my furnishing skills? Uh, do you need that weirwood? I just need lumber still and then word wood wood. Is it weird wood wood or word wood? Come on. I don't even know. Weird. Word I, word like bird because it's W I, right? It's W Y. Wordwood. Yeah, so W Y R D. Word wood? So D I R D is bird, so that'd be word. Okay. Why why did Marcus say weird wood? Marcus? Weirdwood. Maybe this is pronounced Weirdwood. I don't know. No, you said Weirdwood, Marcus. What? What? What is going on? What is this dystopia blue, I'm hey, living in? Did you ever see a blue glowing tree in the woods? Tell me that ain't some weird wood. <laughs> I'll give you an A minus for recovery, Marcus. Yeah. So I need three more corrupted shards. Can make a mono mononucleosis tuning orb, and then we can Jeez. That boss. Okay, yeah, that sounds freaking cool. 
Blade, are you getting on too? Yeah, I think we need Bladar, and Mar Marcus can tank. Oh, hey, Bladar. Hello. Hello, hello. I've got everything else. I've got the energy core, the lodestone, the star metal chisel, the firefox. That's Oh, see, that's what those firefox things are for. Oh, jeez, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had gotten a couple. I will go and do some of those uh, corrupted zones then, and then um, see if I can get the next three shards. Nice. All right, I have this war. One right below Everfall right now, so I'll go do that. Sweet. I should get an invite in like 10 or 15 minutes. I can still get furniture, but I can't remove it from my inventory. But I can get furniture it's drops. Frozen. Can't trade, can't buy, can't sell. But you can still get it as a drop. Yep. Yeehaw. The actual one of this still uh, close? No, that works again. Just furniture you can't use because there's additional bugs with the furniture specifically. Okay. So you can't move it out of your inventory. You can't do anything with it. So my question is, can I loot enough? Can I loot enough furniture that I fill my inventory and just can't play the game anymore? <laughs> Can I loot 1,200 pounds of furniture? Because I can't remove it from my inventory. I'm going to look and see what I have here in a minute. Marcus, serious question. Yes, sir. What, what do you think about that doctor adding them notes when we didn't talk about it? Uh, he gave them to you to read over, right? No, like this is this is something I had to log into like my e-health portal and review. He didn't give me any notes. I just found them. I would probably the next time you go to visit him, make sure no one's around, pin him up against the wall and say, "Hey, listen, asshole, he's <laughs> trying to pull on me." Excuse my language. Ah, <laughs> uh, that sounds like a movie scene, Marcus. Speaking of movies, though, we're, I'm, we're about to be on season four, Marcus. You could you could probably start any day now. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, we're really close playing. to the end well, of season you guys, three. You guys have been flying through those, huh? I mean, I guess it's taken about a month to get through three seasons, but yeah, it's been good. We really enjoyed it. What are you watching, like two episodes a night? or? Yeah, between one and two, depending. Maybe it's been more than a month. I don't even know. It has to have been uh, more than a month, because, yeah, we do one or two a night. There's some okay. nights where we, we we just say fuck everything and watch, like, three or four. <laughs> it happens. Okay. No, I'll start. Uh, I want to get to where I'm on the same episode as you. Ooh. Idea. All right. I, I'll have to check. I think we're on, like, 317 or 318. Uh, uh, Adam, we're watching Blacklist right now, about to be on season four. I'll let you know exactly the episode after tonight, Marcus. Alrighty. I'm just running around Evan Scale waiting for this war invite. They better not pull me out of this damn war. I think I got somewhere in season into season four, and then that's when the uh, that's when New World released. Nice. Yeah, I think that's what you told me. Do you watch it with your brother or just by yourself? Uh, just myself. All alone. Uh -oh. Did you buy one of those survival kits for your brother too, Marcus? Uh, no, he'll probably get hurt. I would uh, give it to <laughs> some. No, I, I bought uh, one for me and uh, one of the uh, nice little stocking stuff for Christmas. Ago. Nice. Are you going to mail it back to me? Is it my stocking stuff or Marcus? Are you being serious? Hey, by the way, I expect <laughs> this delivery. I expect those to be delivered at my doorstep by Saturday. <laughs> by Saturday? Actually, your, yours are... Not not before noon, because I sleep in a little on Saturday. <laughs> yours are actually the most important ones, Marcus. We're going to be doing the videos, packing your cans out. We're going to be doing some, some short clips that we can like cut down to make TikTok videos and stuff. And, and it, hey, I want the collector's labels, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just ordered Un the untainted. replacement labels today. No, and No tape, untainted. Yeah, yeah. I may, I may just keep those and just hold on to them, not open it or nothing. 
That's good. Yeah, we determined only thing to do is reorder, so I reordered them this morning. Cringeworthy. But, I mean, everything's up. Did you look again today? I added a, a good number of additional photos. No, I will, though. Yeah, I added three or four more. And there's a couple more that I might still add to the product, but just not there yet. What am I supposed to do with the boar? Do I loot, loot see the boar? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Boar oh, sample. Boxes What's this? Are so low. W which town? Everfall. Yeah, that green that owns it, they, they put it way down. Yeah, it's way down. I just paid 450 for my tier 2. Nice. What's the percentage? Uh, oh, let me see. Yeah, Adam, I liked Blacklist a lot. It was it's been a really fun show. I think I just gonna oh I love Blacklist, man. What are you up to uh, the current season? Say. No, no, we're on on season three. Almost to season four. And Marcus yeah, is gonna cool, watch where we're watching. I love it. One of the best series out there. Yeah. Oh no, am I gonna die? Oh no, Brightwood lost. Get out of here! Get out of here! Did you ever watch Alias? Did you ever see that? A little bit of it, but wasn't wasn't my favorite thing to watch. Uh, like is that Spy oil? Shit. Yeah, that was oil. Anytime you see oil, Marcus, I need a crazy amount to keep grinding up the uh, ginger. I've got oil. I need oil also, Ginger. I need more than you, Marcus. I must make an obnoxious amount of oak stain that I'll never use. How much oil, oil do you need? Just the oil, oil. The seeping stone. Yeah. Oh, you need gasoline oil. Yeah. That crude oil. How much do you need? I got I... like 600. I need at least 600. Man, I can't believe all that orichalcum sold. Okay, That's 2, crazy. Gold is yours. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cheaper than that on the market. <laughs> no, just make me a chest. I'm good with it. Yeah, we need to find that Ori Chalcom recipe tonight and we'll be good to go. That would be we nice. Need more space and it'll be my void essence what we need to find. Ooh, yeah, that too. That's the only place you can find it is an elite chest. Oh god, I need to farm rawhide and... Ooh, there's actually a good amount of oil in Epen Scale, too. Marcus, what do you use oil for? Uh, potions. Really? Yes, yes. It's like putting antifreeze in the coffee, Marcus. You drink it. It is sweet. Yeah. Uh, that's the ones that you use oil for the ones that you rub on your sword. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> With the What's potions that he tea? makes. That yeah. Tea. The oil. <laughs> the oil. <laughs> the, ooh, I think I got enough to do the... It has a mild lubricating agent in it, yes. Yeah. See, Ori Chalcum, Adam, that's a good point. Ori Chalcum is a mix of copper and something else. So I, I'm kind of surprised they used it because it's not like super rare metals, but it is a real metal. Platinum should have been the rarest one. Yeah. ADTs. Yeah, it was a yellow metal prized in ancient times, a form of brass or similar alloy. So it's not even that rare. It just lasted well. Like in the sense of like precious metals, etc. Like, to be honest, I don't think you should have to use steel to make a Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Right, try it again. Good night. Good night. Night, 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 night. Good job. Okay. Oh.
Alright, I'm gonna take a quick AFK, guys. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. Oh no. Would you do crimson? Alright, tomorrow. I, I combine my things to make the corrupted shards, right? And then it said, "Oh, uh, do you want to make a crusted, a corrupted?" Um, I'll go tell you. I forgot the name of it. Me. Hey, night, night. Me. Night, night. night, night. Me. Yeah, you can say night, night. Hey, night, night. You can do it. Night, night. Good job, buddy. Night, night. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Okay, I'll be so, right back, guys. Yeah. You make corrupted fragments, and then the corrupted fragments you turn into corrupted shards. The shards you turn into crystal. The crystals you turn into corrupted lodestone, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I made the shards, and I only needed one more to make to make that tuning orb. And then it said you can make some crystals. So I made some crystals. I still had the shards left. And then it says, oh, you can make one corrupted lodestone. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I made the lodestone. Then I went back to look, and now I have no corrupted shards left. Oh, jeez. So now I need five again. I'm like, oh, my, I only needed one. So I guess it used the four shards to make one mm -hmm. crystal to make one lodestone. Oh, my God. Can you trade shards? No, they're bind on pickup. Oh, that sucks. But I'm just going to check. Maybe I can, you know how you can break, if you make, like, you make like brick. You can make it back break it down. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can do the same thing with these. Cr oh no, you can't. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> see, why not? You should be able to, man. Oh, so I got why? two corrupted slivers. Why it's binding pickup too? It's not easy. Damn it. Oh well, we can do that another day. Yeah, those shards should be something you could just go out and farm and sell them. I think. Yeah, because you get them from the corrupted, doing the corrupted things, hey? Yeah. Like I just got there, two doing, doing that level 25 one. Now, they're supposed to make it easier, right? Uh, for you to do tuning orbs, I think, right? Yeah. Well, you only get those those shards from doing the, the the big ones, right? You don't get it from the smaller corrupted zones. It's got to be it's got to be one of the bigger ones where you get the chest that has like four items in it. I'm having trouble with repair parts, man. I gotta, I gotta boost myself up so I can start making repair kits. Cause the, the, finding these enough repair parts to repair my stuff is almost impossible, <clears throat> man. All right, I have returned, and yeah, it's it's bad right now. Like the lack of repair kits, like having I, to use it. I die twice, and all my stuff's almost all broken. Shoot. And then I don't have enough to repair it, and then you lose all your stats, eh? Yep. Ooh. Oh, I can make orichalcum heavy breastplates. Ooh. And I've got so many of those little perks, you know, the little... What do they call them? The, those crafting things. Why do they make the high-level zone so stinking annoying to be in, like Reekwater? It's just a giant swamp fest of doom. Reek water is worse than Shattered Mountain, I find. Um, no, really. No, I don't find me, Shattered Mountain. Shattered Mountain is, it, I mean, Shattered Mountain is designed for more than one person, but you can do yeah. one person stuff in there. Right. Yeah. The one is uh, a Ooh. nightmare. Barley. I yeah, like Shattered Mountain. Water is only stuff. annoying. I like Shattered Mountain. It's just depressing. It is depressing. Seriously. Man. It is pretty, pretty drab. It's like there's, well, it's because there hasn't been a, a run up there in a long time. What they need to do is they need to get a big group together and do the corrupted run, eh? 
Because when all that corruption has gone out of there, it's not so bad. I'll have to charge I it. There to, I, I go up there to farm orichalcum and ironwood. And uh, I'm like all the places I go to, very seldom my contested to doing it. As it gets. Well, we don't buy it. Yeah. What level is it to make the top? I think it's 150, oh, isn't it? For well, making what? For making the um, master repair kits. That's yeah, 165. Yeah, one. Yeah, two, 165. Make 165. Oh, and you need 300 repair kits to even make that. Yeah, it's not really that. What the hell, man? That's crazy because you can only carry 2K. It doesn't even make sense. Yeah, so you can make three master repair kits, or you can. Oh, man. Do they think you're breaking down like 500 items a day? Like it makes no sense. See, that's why when you break down like tier four and tier five stuff, they should be giving you not repair kits, but like the actual repair, like master repair kit. You know what I mean? Not you should have a parts. chance for something additional, yeah, besides just yeah. parts. Like you get like three or four repair parts plus. A master repair kit or a tier four repair kit, you know? And four of those you can make a master repair kit. Like I it's mean, craziness. Yeah. Like when you're low level, man, you're always having like you're overflowing with repair parts. Yep. Alright, these in this invite for the war should happen any second now. He's left the group now. Now let's go do something fun. Seriously. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll give it time. They might, they might invite him and then ditch him. They ditch me a lot these days. They're killing me. Yeah. Hey. A long load time. Come on, load up. Right, I'll be right back while this fixes itself. Man, I got a lot of tier fours I can make into tier fives. Bladar, can you cut tier five stones yet? Or calcum? Yeah, can you cut them at the stoning table? Yeah. No, still not. Oh yeah. I'm like one. On mine, yes. I'm Yesterday like one hundred and ten. Oh, I got mine up to one thirty six. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, all I do now, I went, and, you know, the bears and weavers fen. Mhm. Mm I went. And yeah, you do like those. Two, two thousand lodestone off of them, and then I just kept going and getting boulders and then making lodestone. And man, I went up really fast. Then I ran out of sandpaper. <laughs> I, I find I'm running out of resources more than I'm running out. You know what I mean? It's like right. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that funny. It's, yeah. Man, you, no, it's no, like no. you had a lot of resources. It's like, man, I had like like a couple thousand of the. Uh, solvents or the uh yeah weak solvents and now all of a sudden it's like i get 36 left oh do you need solvents i i've got like about four thousand no i should be all right right now are you sure because i've got the top tier stuff eh i don't remember well, what was solvent was it cheap or well like, I'm, I mean, like anything that sandpaper got... all that stuff flux all that stuff you go through so fast T tier four solvent i got 1709 Nice. Um, That's a lot. Tier five. Oh, okay. uh, tier five. We got nine hundred and seven solvent. And then, yeah, that's it. And then the 
Oh no, I got more than that. I got some on me right now. Uh, yeah, I got yeah. about almost. A, I got a thousand, thousand tier five. Yeah, and two thousand tier yeah. four. That's why. If you need some, let me know. I'll um, give it to you, man. Thank you. If it wasn't for the weight in this stuff, I. Flux I'm okay. I got a whole bunch of flux in Shatter Mountain the other day. It's funny with like the flux, like the shell dust tier four is is sells less than the sand um I the know. regular. Which makes no sense whatsoever because if you use the tier the, the higher tier, you get more uh, metal when you do the or whatever when you do the exchange. Wait I when you upgrade. I think some people just like to get rid of their inventory because they can't store enough, so they just sell it. Yeah. Or they well, try and they, like they set it for a higher price. I do that all the time too, and sometimes it sells, sometimes it doesn't. Remember back when the high tier stuff was selling so cheap? I think a lot of people have so much that rather than use the lower tier for like making iron to steel, they just use the highest tier one so they can get the max amount of, of return, you know what I mean? Yeah. I do that. Which is almost like you almost double what you're making. So if you're going to make 400 uh, 400 steel and you use the top top tier um, obsidian flux, you almost make like 6 7 or almost 700 and 800. You burn through it really fast. Yeah, it's so fast. I've got Tuluvium on me. I've got Smolder Hide. I've got Scale Cloth, Infused Leather. Uh, what's this up? Woodworking. I've got Barb, barb Vine. Whisper we a good war. Loving this bow, uh, uh, which is a hatchet combination with the haste, eh? It's pretty cool. Nice. Or chocolate is copper and zinc. Okay. Every time you switch from your your bow to your other weapon, you get a five second haste. Is there a way to use the bow with, with like, just a full intellect stack? I'm not sure. Cause I, I have a stone in it right now, and it says 30% of damage is converted to arcane damage scales based off weapon stat or intelligence, whatever is higher. So I'm sitting here like, can I do an intelligence bow build somehow? Is there some other stone that converts all damage to intellect based? Cause no, that'd be fucking only, cool. Uh... It's only the four, right? It's the musket, the rapier, the, the ice gauntlet, and the fire staff. Yeah, musket, rapier, ice gauntlet, fire staff. Those are the only things that intellect stacks off of. So the I could do an I int build with musket, but yeah. Uh, the reason I dropped the rapier was because um, the intelligence is the better of the build, eh? Yeah. The damage? Yeah. So, and I'm all dex, so I was like, ah, screw it. Yep. I got it up there. I got almost all my weapons up there. Ooh, I need more food. I've got bow at 15, great axe is 15, rapiers 9, uh, muskets 8, spears 6. I got hatchet and warhammer at 20, fire staff is 5, life staff is 4, and ice gauntlet 6. Nice. I've not messed with half of the things yet. I want to try the Void Gauntlet. It looks good. Yeah, I haven't really tried Fire Staff. Like, I tried a lot of these back in beta, and I haven't messed with them since. The only things I've never tried at all are Warhammer and Great Axe. I've tried everything else to some degree. 
If not now, then in beta. I, I still think Boat Hatchet's one of the better combinations. Yeah, it's my favorite so far. And I I yeah. go between Hatchet and Spear just depending on what I feel like, but I'm, I'm finding I like Hatchet more and more. I, I don't mind Spear, but I mean, I find that, like, if, if someone comes near me to PvP because I'm using a bow, my hatchet is going to rip them apart a lot better than the spear will. Yeah. Because it's so fast, eh? Yep. And not to mention that with the, the, the good thing about the hatchet is when you're in berserk mode, they can't counter any of your attacks. If you post something in the on the trading post and then take it down, you get charged a fee. You do have that fee where you put it up, yes. But if you don't sell it, there's no additional fee. You don't get a fee. Like, if you, you don't. If you, you pull it down, if you pull it down before that. No, no additional fee. No additional fee. Right. Just like you lose that money because you're never gonna get back like the ten or fifteen you paid to put it up. Okay. Yeah, he just loses the posting fee. That's it. So it kind of acts as a, a pay to store <laughs> for storage. Just post yeah. it real high and. Yeah, that, that's what I did with all that that auric alchem I bought. I had like ten thousand. There's no way I could save it anywhere, so I just I reposted it for like four cents, figuring it would never sell. Unmanaged yeah, that's a crazy triple, triple earnings there. That's freaking nuts. Now I wish I'd have made it higher and made it like six or seven cents each. I would put it at ten. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't have enough money. It's uh, ten thousand, man. Even three days is like, I think it was sixty gold. Now the property tax here is seven percent. Yeah, I dropped mine. Oh, guess what? I uh, when I hit forty nine on my um, rep for Everfall, it asked me if I wanted to add it, add twenty five more storage to my. Uh, town storage so it's 300 isn't the cap because i'm at 325 now nice nice that's I good i thought it was a cap at 300 but apparently not more storage i mean 25 you just hadn't gotten it in ages then so you picked it every you picked weight every time you saw it then every time i saw weight i did it but it it was like four times before i saw weight the last time well what, what's your rep now uh, 49 Holy shit. <laughs> Mine is 37. Mine, mine is not that high. Mine is, yes, 37. Even though I was... Uh, no, now it's 50. I just went up. Nice. Yay. So I've got 2.7 pounds worth of furniture right now. I want more. <laughs> so let's see if it asks me about weight again. No, so now it's standing gain, faction totems, or gathering. Gathering is 29.5%. So what's territory standing? What is that? What, what does that improve? I'm not even sure how that helps you, or if it even yeah, does. Like... I guess that's the rep itself to level up the, the zone that you're in. I would think. So you're, you're going to get 27% more rep every time you do a ter territory quest. Yeah, I think so. Gathering speed. I'm going to go with gathering speed. Just because I do a lot of farming of wood and stuff here. You just got the in influencer shot, Adam? That's good. And then Adam was saying as well, the Ori, Ori Chalcum is like copper, zinc, and some traces of nickel and iron. So it's oh, kind of just like... Everything. Yeah, a little bit of everything. And they used it, I know they used it for, as money and jewelry a long time ago. I'm not sure how it wound up as that. But yeah, it's it's not super rare in the sense of what it is. But I heard it looked good back in the day. So I wonder why they stopped using it for stuff. Uh, it's uh, yeah, I modern. Think it's like a lot weaker than titanium or uh, platinum would be, right? Yeah. Yeah, 
Like, I mean, a, a set of silverware that's made out of orichalcum would look... I, I think that would look awesome, man. That'd be fucking cool. You know? So yeah, that would be really be cool. some reason why they stopped using it. I just well, think it's the want, way we mine today. Sword, would you want a sword out of it, though? You know? Probably not. It depends if it's... How, what, it depends if it can be hardened or not. Yeah. I saw a guy trying to make a sword out of a meteorite, and because because there's so many different metals in there, and, and a lot of the metals can't be hardened, it, it, he couldn't do it. You need some really technical stuff to do it to accomplish that. Yeah, you gotta have like you, you gotta mix it like it's you gotta have a certain amount of base metal. Like nickel is a good filler metal. Nickel gives you your pliability when you're making with dealing with steels and stuff, eh? Because okay. you still have to you're have here? some kind of ply to it. Right, right. And, and it's just your ores are what makes your hardness. There was some kind of sci-fi movie I watched where the guy made a sword out of meteorite. It was a pretty cool movie. Uh, and your titaniums are the ones that make your the light give it the lightness, eh? Yeah. They make things lighter. I'll be right back. Alright, here goes the the war. Yeah, ceramic knives are cool, man. Yeah, unless you drop it. I had a really nice expensive one. I dropped it in the kitchen when they blade snapped an app. Almost cried. Even though the first day This war is crazy, dude. I kind of want to find some meteorite something now. A rally point somewhere. Okay, that's the good. Meteorite wings are really cool. For a sec. Yeah, that is that is good stuff. Brought a friend. This this war is crazy, guys. Ah, uh, probably so. It's, it's moving pretty quick. I can't even hit much.
is going to end with Beast Lord plus 4.8% damage absorption. Yeah, and Unbroken Wings gain 10% mana after a full wind chill burst. Oh, come on. 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 Percent chain chain so finally right I can see talking. Need arrows, oh no. Okay. We don't have five left, okay. Now I'm out of arrows. Oh no. Ooh, they know I'm squishy. I didn't get to change arrows. Sorry, guys, talking to myself. Gray, what was that? You were talking? You were listening. Yeah, I know. I get that a lot. <laughs> Just trying to change my arrows out. I died by accident. All right, here we go.
The war is getting really laggy. Like, really, really laggy. Unfortunately. The one aspect I don't like about him. Yeah, I have like one AoE move right now. And it does pretty good, but it's got a pretty long cooldown. We lost one point. We have 20 minutes left. This is all about judging where and when to shoot, it seems like, more than anything. Sir. War is going good. Thanks for all the potions, Marcus. They're a pretty big help. You are most I stay on the outer fringes, but I do okay. Flexing hard. Is that an actual war? In yeah, real war. Real war. For what town? Uh, Weavers. Oh. I got one really good hit on a person where I just got lucky with my power shot and I hit him for like four and a half thousand damage, like headshot from a good hundred yards off. It was nice. It was very, very satisfying. Are you saying you got extreme gratification out of that? Yes, it was it was good. My boiled potatoes sold, yeehaw. Save me, save me, save me, save me, save me. Save me, save me, save me, save me, save me, save me, save me. Somebody save me. They're flexing on us. Come on.
Only thing about the war is it's really hard to hit your arrow shots more so than other aspects of the game. Who's shooting you, buddy? Oh no. They got me. They got me! They keep sneaking around us and getting good good hits on into our ranged. I'm gonna go into the fort for a minute and grab some stuff. Well, you guys are awful quiet. Yep. So someone else someone else has been talking. It's but it's fun. I thought y'all enjoyed it. Oh we do. We enjoy it. Alright, what am I, what am I doing up. here? Buy a bunch of arrows too. The good arrows. Good. Where's my thingies? So bad. Oh, there they are. Okay. Um. Sure. Just putting these in the tree line. <laughs> Ooh, that might kill me. Let me get out of that craziness. I'm just a poor little ranged person. Oh, they know I'm so squishy. I'm way too squishy. It's a good war. We lost C, but it's been a lot of fun. Oh, my button's all confused. Ooh, lots of Lots of fighting going on. Oh, they've been breaking all of our guns entirely, too. You played our dues, wrecking ball? Take care, Adam. Good to see you, man.
No, 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 don't kill me, don't kill me. Yeah, yeah, I'm in one of the surge groups, or groups, or whatever you want to call it. I stay back because I'm weak, but... Then it's just about pointing at red. Yeah, I'm squishy. Just about pointing and shooting at red as I can. And you get pretty good heals as long as you stay in the mix, but even still, it hurts. And I normally die pretty quickly because of it. The Warhammer builds are nasty. They just stun lock the shit out of you. I don't know if you saw that or not, Marcus, but they just stun lock you to death. You seem to be holding your own. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Like I do the best when I'm able to, able to get these really good sniper shots. I've I've headshot killed two or three people. I'm pretty sure, or at least relatively close to it. It's just getting those arrows down range is what matters. Oh, hey, Chris, that game you told me to look up, I looked up on YouTube. That does look pretty cool. It looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Looks like reflexing. Odin, Valhalla Rising. Some guy just sold. Some guy just sold an Oracalcum pickaxe that's got. Mining yield 17% more resources and mining luck, 7.8% chance of finding rare items and plus 61% durability for 200. Nice. Uh, yeah. It's really hard to find. It's really hard to find ones that have more um, like yield and luck. It's like so we're just flexing have, like, on luck, people. Luck and experience. Which we don't need, right? Yeah. There was a quest I got yesterday in uh, Shattered Mountain. 20,000 XP. Get a ring at the end. I'm, I'm saving it to see if they like raise the, the level screen cap. Ooh, they're everywhere right now. Woo. 
Anybody get me up? No, somebody killed me. Yeah, see, as we get closer to the end, the respawn gets further and further out. That was crazy. Did you watch that, Marcus? Yes. Yeah. That was cool. Longer longer. Yeah. Finally, that was so crazy. Malcolm. <laughs> that was that was a legit one. <laughs> that was a big whoopsie. Hey, oh, never mind, never mind. The stats are shit on. It's a defiled block was the assassin, but it's dex, but it has empowering meat. That's sword. I don't have yeah, I, I went all uh, the other side. What a mess, as Bladar would say. Oh, they're flexing. They're flexing to Alpha. Come on, come on, come on. Is there a repulsing clear out with the, for the shield? The clear out, that's for the hammer, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, so I it think. It has the shield beside it. That's why I'm wondering, like, is it the shield has something like that? No. Huh? Oh, okay. They tried to flex on us and failed. This clear out now knocks target back in addition. Yeah, I use that. Yeah, the only thing is the stats are very good though. Like the the where was it? Under 7,500. Oh my god, I want this so bad. It's got 24 decks. It's a, a pearl amulet of the ranger, so it's a necklace, right? 24 decks, 599 gear score. Lucky four. You have a plus 5% chance at rare items and chest of monsters. Limit, right? And it's got void protection. You can get 4 points to the chest of void damage. And it has luck. Plus 2.8% chance at rare items. Good luck. 
opponents. What's that? It's 3.3%. 24 jacks. The guy, the guy is selling for 7,500. Did these guys give up? They got me. I died with Panda, though. You died with a Panda or from a Panda? No, with a guy named Panda. Like, I wasn't gonna leave him alone, so I rushed out to help him. We kind of got jumped at the end by like three or four people. There's like 30 seconds left. We got this in the bag, but. And that's a victory. A good victory, too. 720 coin, 400 Azos. So you get way more from, like, the PvP wars. Maybe it's, that's just the we win in go. general. Yeah, those are fun, too. I've done a couple. You get good chests from them, too. Let's see, I placed 69, I guess, out of 100 people. <laughs> That's terrible. Out of how many people? <laughs> out of 100, I placed 69. Nine kills, six deaths, 347,000 damage. Hey, 69's good. Why are you going to argue with that? Oof. Yeah, it's 69 out of 100. Like, Oof. I thought I did pretty good considering my gear is garbage. Mm-hmm. Hey, you didn't finish last, okay? Yeah, I didn't pull a Malcolm, Marcus, whatever it is. I've never finished last yet. There you go. I finished, I think, 49th out of 50. <laughs> or, wait, Marcus, wasn't that round where there, wasn't that the round where there were only 49 play <laughs> players? Uh, someone dropped out, I think, yeah. <laughs> it's fun, man. Like I'll get there eventually. Like with ranged in an event like this, you're better off being melee. It's complete opposite. Because the it, 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 for a hundred players, it gets really like stuttery at times. It's bad. You got to be good with the bow. Yeah. Got to catch the guys on the outside, not in the very center. You know the guys that are like where, where you see like two on one or or one v one, and wait till he's almost like quarter of the way down. Oh, yeah, I got a couple of good ninja hits, like ninja kills. Yeah, I got a couple of good ones. Because the guy wow. I had to watch, that's what he was doing. He had like four hundred plus decks, and. He was catching guys on the outside, fighting like guys with hammers and stuff. As soon as the guy was stunned with the hammer, he headshot him with the bow. Yep. Uh, maybe I just need a better computer in general then, because, yeah, I was lagging pretty bad at times. The other thing I noticed, he was really far away from the fight. Like, he wasn't up close. Right. Because you're right. Like, if you get too close, I'm the same way. Like, you know those... Uh, Corrupted things that we do, or you go inside. If there's too much going on in there, my computer freezes. Yep. Yep. I mean, I've got good stuff on my computer. It just, it's, I don't know, for some reason, it just overloads the memory. It's it's probably just lack of optimization. <laughs> they said, get out of my swamp. <laughs> I think a lot of it is um, because of the li my the network, eh? because I'm. Oh yeah, that'll be, that'll be relative too, hundred percent. So it just yeah, it just overloads over the amount of information coming in is overloading my network. Yeah, I can see that. Because I was looking at your computer compared to mine, and I mean, I've got like I've got a 1080 Ti, I've got the, the right, right. What you got? The carbon. I got almost the same motherboard as mine. You started cutting out, by the way, Crimson. Oh, 
almost the exact same build. That was my Christmas present two years ago. Nice. Five grand. So are we going to go up to uh, Epic Scale? I was going to, but I didn't realize it was this late. I started later than normal tonight, so I'm going to have to cut shortly. I started. I started way later than normal. I know. And then I realized the time. Uh, that's okay. I'm actually getting kind of tired, anyways. I know you grind hard. Uh, I don't know how. I'm gonna get on later when there's like hardly anybody and try to finish up my uh, stone cutting and my weapon smithing. This is provided expression. Wow. Uh, did Miro ever give you some weapon smithing food? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it here for the night. A little earlier than normal, but I had gotten a late start because I was out doing a lot of errands. So y'all take care, have a great night, and I will be back tomorrow. Good night.